So I've been using the Caden Live video editing program for quite some time now, and here are my thoughts. Welcome back to another video editor review and today we're taking a look into the Kendon Live video editing program and to see if this is the right video editing program for you. Now I am going to be sharing my thoughts and opinions on my personal experience by using Kendon Live so feel free for you guys to write down your own experience down in the comment section so you can help give other people a different point of view as well. Now the Kendon Live video editing program is a free open source video editor capable of basic video editing and it does have a number of select features. And I like any other video editing program, it does have its pros and its cons, but I want to take a deeper look into that to see what it could mean for you guys who are looking for your next video editing program. So let's get started. So my time with the Kendon Live video editing program, I did see a number of pros that I really enjoyed while I was using this video editing program. And the first pro that I want to talk about is its basic outline of a good video editor in terms of its design and its quality. Now having this quality of a video editing program is really important because you want to make sure that the design of the video editing program is, is pretty much straightforward and you know what you're getting yourself into, as well as the actual quality of the effects and even filters that you may want to apply onto your video while you're editing. Now if you go on to the Kendall Live video editing program itself, it looks really professional, really neat and organized, which is a good thing when you're trying to organize all these files in order to create a video project. Now in terms of quality, I've been using it, I've been editing on it and the quality is just on par with any other video editing programs out there, so you want to make sure that the quality and quantity of effects are really actually important and counted for when you're using Kindle Live as your video editing program of choice. So basically what I'm saying is that the quality and design of the video editing program itself is really neat, looks professional and it's organized and the quality of the effects and overall video editing once you're done exporting your video is actually pretty pleasant and really nice up to par with other video editing programs out there. Now the second pro that I want to point out is its optimization and what I mean about this is that that if you actually go to the Kindle Live website itself, you can see that they have a specific page for all the updates that they've been releasing as well as a report a bug section where you can basically report any issues with the video editing program itself. And that's basically reassuring because you know that your video editing program, in this case Kindle Live, is not going to be actually left in the past. They're going to keep working on it and basically keep getting improvements over time. Now I haven't been on the Kindle Live video editing for too long, so I haven't been able to see all the other updates or previous versions of this video editing program. But the fact that they have a community who are basically responsive and point out any issues or flaws in the video editing program itself is reassuring and that's what you guys should be looking for when you're doing research on what video editing program that you should be choosing. Now the next pro that I want to talk about is the feature set that Kendall Live actually has. Now of course I'm talking to a specific demographic of people who are actually using Kendall Live as their primary video editing program. Now Kendall Live is a basic video editing program which is really good for people who are just starting out but it does have a number of features that can be useful for you guys as well and the implementation and organization of these effects and features that this program has is really up to par to other video editing programs that I've seen so far. Now you can go to the feature page on the Kendall Live video editing program as well and you can see all the different types of features that they have implemented on this software. Now like always it's always up to the video editor itself to interpret how these video editing features may be used in a video. Everyone has a different creative process but it's really nice to see that Kendall Live has provided you guys with the most basic and necessary video editing features that one should have. And like always in the future, they can be adding more and improving upon these feature sets as well. Now the last pro that I want to talk about is not actually a materialistic thing that Kindle Live actually has in its settings, but I do want to talk about its potential. Now this video editing program has extreme potential when it comes to the feature sets, when it comes to the optimization and the community behind this video editing program. I was really impressed and I really enjoyed using this video editing program when I first opened it up and even when I first heard about it. It's clean design, it's optimization on the website itself, it's community behind it, along with all the other tutorials that it has makes out a great video editing program. Now of course I'm only talking to a certain number of you guys who are actually thinking about using this video editing program but if you do I say give it a try because you really do not know what you're getting yourself into just by watching these reviews or reading about these articles but you just have to have your first hand experiences with it. Now this video editing program has extreme potential to be even greater as time passes through community forums like you guys by suggesting any updates or even pointing out any issues that it has. So I'll be keeping an eye out for the Kindle Live video editing program over time as it continues to improve. And I think you guys should do as well. 
Okay, so now moving on to the cons of this video editing program that I have encountered while using Caden Live. Now I do have to say that most of these I may have experienced only in the slightest of situations, but most of them came from research and actually taking a deep dive of what people are actually saying about this video editing program in terms of other reviews and even reading articles about it. And like always, I do suggest that you guys take a deep dive, do your research, do your due diligence if you're actually serious about choosing a new video editing program. But nonetheless, the first con that I want to talk about is the compatibility issues. Now by going onto the web page of Caden Live, you can actually see that it does state some compatibility issues if you're trying to install this for a certain operating system. Now Caden Live was originally designed for a Linux operating system, but they also have expanded into a Windows project file that you guys can actually download. And that's what I'm basically using right now. They also have a Mac OS version, but it's actually not a download option. It basically has a summary of what's going on with that Mac OS version. Now I've been over through articles talking about how Kindle Live is actually not compatible with Windows and the problem that it comes with having this program with a Windows operating system. Now personally I am running a Windows operating system and I have not experienced this in the slightest. Now I could have been reading some updated articles or even just installed a newer version of the Kindle Live video editing program but for now I have not experienced any of these issues and if you guys have feel free to leave them down in the comments as this is just my personal experience that I have had with the Kindle Life video editing program. Now the next point that I want to make is the stability issue. Now when I'm talking about this I'm talking about frequent crashes and even freezes that people have experienced with the Kindle Live video editing program. Now personally, I haven't experienced any of this. The program hasn't crashed or even frozen on me during this testing period, but I know that it's a possibility as any other video editing program has its potential crashes and freezes that a user might experience. Now there's certain articles talking about this and even some issues that people have pointed out with the Kindle Live video editing program when it talks about frequent crashes. Now, like I said, personally, I haven't experienced any of this, but I know it's a potential problem that you you should be on a lookout for sure when you're editing and making sure that you just don't want to lose a whole project on a off chance that this program might crash. So really be on the lookout for that. Now the last con that I want to talk about is pretty much a general con, especially if you're moving on to a different video editing program. And that's the learning curve that people experience. Now this is basically always going to happen when you're trying a new product out and that's totally fine. And I've already talked about this in previous videos, but there's always a learning curve. Now this one might be a little bit more distinct because it has a certain layout that I wasn't really used to at first, but by watching tutorials and basically playing around with the program, I was able to actually learn how to use it properly and get used to the workflow that Caden Live actually offers when you're editing. And I really want to talk about a specific part that took me some time to actually learn and that's basically the effects, organization, and composition effects that Caden Live actually offers. And this has to do more of its organization and how it's laid out as I wasn't really used to it but that always comes when you're using a new video editing program and that's part of the learning process. Another point that I want to make out is actually importing clips. At first I thought there was a normal button like always where the video editing program actually opens your files automatically and you can pick any files that you want to use but actually you have to open that in a different tab in a different window and basically click and drag onto the video editing program itself so these are just basically small things that you guys got to get used to as it's part of the learning curve itself with any other video editing program out there too so there you have it that's my comprehensive review of the Caden live video editing program in my testing period that i've been using it now is it a good video editing program it is and it has a lot of potential to get even better. Now do I actually recommend for you guys to use it and check it out? Well I certainly do as I think it's important to explore all your options out there when it comes to finding the perfect video editing program for you. But at the end it's basically your responsibility and your due diligence to do all the research and do the testing for yourself. Now if you're watching this video, well congratulations you have completed step one in watching a review of the Caden Live video editing program. The next step, you can do more research or you can just go and try this video editing program out for yourself. Now if you're still not sure if this video editing program is actually for you, well I do have a full playlist of different video editing programs that I have been using for the past and I have reviewed them as well. So if you guys want to go check that out, well link will be in the description or you can just go to the channel and click on whatever video you guys want to see. So that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys have any other suggestions of any other video editing programs that I should check out, well leave them down in the comments. And be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification icon for any other future videos 
videos and reviews that I will release in the future. But that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.